Hey, what's up? And welcome back to another video. So today I'm taking a look at how you add an eSIM to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7, um, how you activate it using the QR code method. So on your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7, if you open up the phone, and in this video, we are assuming that you have an eSIM already purchased and you have a QR code and all the other relevant information that you will need. And we'll go through the process here together. So on your phone, if you click on settings and then go to connections and then click on SIM manager and then click on add eSIM. OK, and then you get the option to choose how to add your eSIM. So in this method, I'm going to be using the scan QR code method. So I have a QR code ready to go from my provider. So it says install via QR code here and then you can scan the QR code and that will activate the eSIM. So if we move that to one side, put our phone back here in the middle. Um, so if we click on scan QR code, that opens up the camera option here. So we will go ahead and scan our QR code. Right, so we've scanned our QR code now and it adds the option, do you want to add your eSIM? So click on add. This is adding your eSIM. This may take a few minutes. And I must stress that you need an internet connection for this to work. So either connect to your Wi-Fi or use the mobile signal on your physical SIM if you've got one. Okay, now that's been added, you now have the option to edit the SIM names and icons for your SIM. So you've got your regular physical SIM and then your eSIM there. So if you want to change those settings, you can do. I'm going to leave those alone for the time being. And click on next. And then you can choose your preferred SIM for calls. Choose a default SIM for outgoing calls. You can always switch SIMs before calls or sign people specific SIMs in contacts. So I'm going to just leave it as SIM1 for now. If I want to use the eSIM, I can easily switch to that. So we'll do next. Preferred SIM for messages. Choose a default SIM for new text conversations. You can always switch SIMs before sending. So again, SIM1 will be my default. eSIM essentially can be my backup. Preferred SIM for mobile data. Same again, SIM1 um, for my main one. And that is pretty much how you add the eSIM to your Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 7. So I hope that's been useful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're somebody new, please leave a comment down below and I will see you lovely people on the next video. Cheers.